Hi there, my name's Carl Bullock. I'm the Managing Director of MK Test Systems. Uh, what we do here is we automate electrical testing um, for various sectors. Uh, predominantly we're aerospace, uh, civil and defence. We're also marine, uh, subsystems, uh, we're rail and now e-vehicles as well. Innovation to this business is absolutely critical. I'd even go as far as saying it's demanded by the customer for this business because they're always looking for more efficient ways of testing their products or systems or assemblers. So for us, it's, it, it literally is a requirement of being in this business. The other one is the people we employ here. Um, I mean, you try and get some of these engineers to do mundane things, that's not what they're here for. They're constantly looking for the next um, innovation, next technology that can deliver more efficiency. The environmental and the policies and what we can do to help customers be more environmentally friendly themselves is a key part of what we do. It's a key value of this business. So we're actually helping the customers do their job more efficiently so their testing time can be so much more reduced. In the rail stock, for example, they, they used to test the train in something like, I think it was over 12 hours. With our automated testing, they're testing that train in something like 30 minutes now. So for them, it's a huge efficiency and therefore saving power. The other thing I think on the environmental side of it is what, and the reason why it's one of our values, is we're not a big power uh, user, we haven't got big capital equipment, but what we do is the basics quite well. We turn the lights off, we turn the heating off, we've gone full digital here, you know, do you really need to print that piece of paper? So I'd say what we do here and linking to the values is make it meaningful for the people, not just what we do for our customers in making them be more efficient, it's what we do inside the business. The journey of MK Test is a particular interesting one, not one we've got time for now, but we've got now the technology, we've got the software, we've got the product, all that investment's gone into our product, software, people and infrastructure, and ultimately processors. So our brand now out in its, in its customer base is one of confidence. So have we got to continue to innovate? Absolutely. But what we're seeing now is that reputation is seeing that orders are coming in and the relationships we have with the customers mean that this business is on a sound footing. We've got such a strong bedrock to continue the growth of this business. We've got other things. We need an ERP system. Every business that grows from a small business, owner managed business to what we are now requires that infrastructure and processes. So that's kind of like our internal challenges. But the big point for this business is it's, it's onward and upward for its growth and customer satisfaction. Where do we go for advice or, or solutions or strategies to get out of the situation? I think the great thing is we look inwardly. I'm really proud of the team we've, we've formed here. We all can support each other. The other thing is we work with industries um, such as um, Bishop Fleming. They're really great advisors for us these days. We've not had that in the past, but I'm so pleased we're working with Bishop Fleming now. Some of the challenges we've had of a business is uh, clearly COVID, an aerospace business, and I think living through SARS, 9-11, a couple of Gulf Wars, effectively has never stopped the aerospace industry like COVID did. Um, and look at us, we actually grew through that time with the orders we had. Uh, Brexit's another one, throw that one at us, we overcame that one. We're in uh, electronic shortages now, and we're an electronics business. Um, so. You know, you keep throwing the challenge at us, we'll find a way of, of finding solutions.